name is Nita and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm still kind of new to this so I'm a little bit awkward. Today I've decided to show you how I edit my Instagram videos. Um, I have gotten a f quite a few questions from some people that follow me on Instagram so I decided to record it for you. So I just have a iPhone 6s. 6S, yeah, and I take all my photos on it. I'll show you exactly like from start to finish how I take them and what apps I use to edit and then post it on Instagram. The post that I do make on this video to my Instagram, I'll put the link in the description just so you can see that that was the exact photo that I did. Yeah. So first of all, um, I've got a couple things here. I've got this um, perfume that was sent to me from a PR company that I haven't taken, uh, that I haven't photographed yet. So this is just the Guess 1981 perfume. So my number one tip for taking a decent quality photo, like even just decent enough to start editing, is natural lighting. So I like to, I'll show you here, um, I am, right by a window I'm just sitting on my bed I've got the perfume I've got this little trinket tray I got it for 10 bucks from typo I've got this I was just gonna I don't know go like this but then I spotted um, a book that I thought was cute personally I like to add like texture and not be too perfect so I'll just chuck my books down here like that um, I'll put a cushion next to it just to add a little bit of texture. Put this on. Oh, hang on, I'll go like this. I don't know, I like to just play around with what I have until I'm happy with how it turns out. I don't know, I really like this book cover. I want to somehow get it in the photo. I like roses at the moment. I'm a little bit obsessed. You can't tell. Um, I don't know, so I'll go like that. That would be mm, good enough. Maybe I'll just. So I'll put you guys over here. Yes, you can see. Alright, so I've got my stuff positioned and then I just go into the photo, oh the camera, and I always make sure I just wipe this just in case there's extra things on there that you know that's ruining the photo quality and then I swipe to the square just so it's all there ready to go and I don't have to fuss about cropping things you know so when I am taking it I like to um like say it's like that I like to tap on the main thing you know just so it focuses to that mm, I might just flip this around so you can see the marble spine but yeah okay that should be good enough yeah all right Okay, so now I've got my photo taken, my photo. Um, so first of all, I'll show you the apps that I love. 
So I always, I don't know why, like I could brighten it anywhere, but I just feel like I like the Avery app the best to brighten it. So I'm just scrolled off. Oh, I'm recording this on there, so I'll just make it sharp. But um, yeah, so I just bump it up to like around 30. You can see when I go like that, the difference it makes. So bump up the brightness in Avery, that's step one. Um, step two, I go into Facetune and the number one thing like in every single photo that I do and uh, every single photo that I take unless it doesn't have a white background but even if it has white parts in it um, I whiten the I whiten it just to make it look nicer um, so yeah I go whiten and I just go like this you can see on the screen what how it's changing but I'll also show you my finger how I do it. So I just go over the entire thing. This might seem a bit excessive but if you're serious about making your photos look decent on Instagram, some people want brands to notice them. Um, I, I'm a micro influencer so I'm not fully like an influencer with heaps and heaps of followers but I have enough to you know share my stuff with. So just that itself you can see the difference but you can also see how I took out the color in the book and the color in the perfume so I go back with the eraser still in the whitening tool um, and I just erase that those parts of the book that I took the color out so like yeah there's the eraser and then I just See how that side of the book is, it looks a lot, you know, nicer than that other side of the pages. So I'll just put white in these pages. I don't know, uh, I go back and forth a lot, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to move on to the next step. Okay, so I go save, save to camera roll. Alright, so the next step, I do use Snapseed um, sometimes, but I don't know, I'll get into that in another video if you want me to show you how to use Snapseed. It's really, really good if you just want to brighten like, if you have a photo and you need to brighten it, but you don't want to brighten the whole thing, you just want to brighten like someone's face or something, um, it's really handy. So now I go into Visco Cam or VSCO, however you say it, and I am going to add the picture that I just edited in Facetune. To edit it, Tap on the photo and then tap on this little one there, the second icon. And my go to um, filter that I always use is the HB2 filter. So I've already got it sitting up the front 
instead of having to scroll through to find it. Um, so yeah, that's the photo without any filter on it and then that's the HP2 filter. So usually I just drop it down to like halfway. Um, oh, I can bump it up a little bit. The app is updated so it's different to what I'm used to. I just updated it this morning. Um, so yeah, I put on a filter and then I bump up the contrast just a little bit. I'll go... And then I like to add a tint, just because it adds a little bit of pinkiness. Um, so I'll do 20 of that, Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so that's without the tint and that's with the tint. And that's basically it. I might, I feel like it's a little bit crooked, so. That. I'm going by looking at the perfume itself. Back to camera roll. I always do actual size. Um, and then just for Instagram, for my last part, I use PicLab to put my little watermarks on. You can get for free, but I think I paid an extra couple of dollars just to remove the watermark on it. Like it has its own PicLab watermark in the bottom corner. And then I just go and I do spaces in between each just because it's habit. L E Isabel. And then I drop it down. And then I put it somewhere where it's not too in your face, but you can still see that it's my photo. So I do that. And then drop the opacity of it down just a tad. And that's how I edit my Instagram photos. So next I would just save it and then go into Instagram. So I'll post that now. Alright, so for the caption, I usually don't put too much thought into it. Hey guys, it's been a while thank you so much for watching guys um please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful um i'm really new to this youtube thing so i would really appreciate if you do subscribe or like and let me know what kind of videos you would like from me if you have any requests or questions or anything and i will make it happen and i'll see you again in my next video